Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and reviewing WBA. WBA was the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day today. We actually had two Play of the Days today. Massive volume in this. Completely insane. Look at this. Woo. In fact, there was more volume in this today than the market. Look at that. That's crazy. Let me just look at this quick. So, again, WBA was earnings. What do they say? I don't know. I don't care. I get up in the morning and I rate the gap. What I do is based on technical analysis. It's price action. So when I go through my Golden Gap 26 point system, I am looking at a daily chart. If the gap rates 20 points or more, I take the trade in the direction of the gap. So in the case of WBA, it was a short. I did not do an option in this. In fact, I didn't even look at the price of them. You could have. You could have. They were there. I know you could have. So anyways, this particular WBA we I did as a day trade and I got in and out of it fast and it continued actually where I got out of it this is taking forever to load the heck is up with this? there um yeah so what my point was that the, the market didn't even have as much volume as this today low of the day and this was what 1172 so this could have gone even more. This was a massive move for this stock, though, to be honest with you. Really, really big. So again, we got in it, I got the drop, and I was out. Again, how can you not be thrilled making thousands of dollars in five minutes? I'm thrilled with that. That's what I love what I do. It's the time of the day. It's the, it's the speed of the execution. And it's the, the idea of making thousands of dollars and very, very quickly. And there's no way you can do that in any other type of method other than gaps. The, the fact that I am prepared in the pre-market and rated the gap in pre-market and know that I like this to get it so fast, to get it out of the gate, to get the perfect entry, sometimes we're in things literally at almost the high of the day. But you can't do that in everything. And you can't short every gap down and go long every gap down. You can't short every gap up and go long every gap up. You can't just do things willy-nilly. Again, I was talking about this in the webinar today. Don't trade like you're shooting darts at a board it's extremely dangerous that's how most people trade that's why they lose i know exactly what i like and again i don't trade the pre-market but i use that time of the day that time of the day to actually help me decide what i want to do which i already have pre-planned before the market opens anyways this was really good I, I'll have to go back and look at what the options cost, but you could have done an option in them. Anyways, nice day trade, in and out, got the drop, and a beautiful move, and it was a baby stop. Love those baby stops, and we don't get them all the time, but we definitely got them today with WBA. So just taking a look at the gap, the stock closed the night before at 1566 and opened in the morning at 1256, and then I rated it, and then I rated it, and then we did it, and we were done really fast. Again, I try to get the perfect pick, the perfect en a perfect entry. Sometimes I get a, a, a perfect exit, but not always. But I usually get a really good exit. And again, you know, 20 cents off the low, that's pretty good. That's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. When you're taking a trade, you're looking to make one risk unit. This was more than one risk unit for me. So you can't look a gift horse, horse in the mouth. you got to book the profits. And again, fast is the way to go. Fast trades extremely important especially in a volatile market which we're still in despite what people want to think anyways if you're interested in learning what i know learning the 26 points getting in the live training room you must take the golden gap course email me at melissa at the and then you can sign up and then you can start trading with us and you can get the next wba one or two trades can pay for the class so this was definitely a big one today. And again, it may not look like much, but the difference between the entry and the stop and where it went was more than one risk unit. And that's why it's so beneficial to do this. I think the stop was like 40 some cents or something in this. It was ridiculous. And again, I love these ones. It was a baby one, but you can really whop it on. And again, we never do anything that doesn't have volume. So the volume was there to take size in this, which is great. So if you're interested in more information, email me and Melissa at thestockswish.com. The next Golden Gap course is July 13th and 14th. Have a great day, everyone.